attraction and arousal are two different things. If you ask a woman and, and anyone on any other podcast mouthing these words, here's where it came from. Arousal is what gets a woman hot. It's what gets her wet between the legs. It's the physical aspects. If you ask a woman, what are you looking for in a man? She's going to give you a list of attributes for her ideal long-term partner. Okay. He's got to be funny. He's got to be tall. He's got to you know, love his mom. He's got to have a really good job. He's got to make at least 58% more than I do. He's got to be X few inches taller than six feet. We got to put that in the filters, right? Uh, he's got to have six pack abs. He's got to have a V taper. He has to have a strong, a strong draw line. He's got to, and with Roycey, blogger Roycey, if you don't know who he is, he used to call the 436 bullet point checklist. Okay. Now, by order of degree, those are priorities. But what those are is they're characteristics and attributes of a guy who would probably make a pretty good dad. Right? He's funny. He's good with the kids, reads to them, takes them to, you know, plays baseball and rough houses with them and does, you know, does all the things that Jordan Peterson doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. But yeah, sounds like a good guy. So if you ask a woman what she's attracted to, that's what she will say. If you ask a woman what she's aroused by, that's Justin Muller. <laughs> That's Jason Momoa. That's Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> That's uh, a, a a a nice butt, a six pack abs, a V taper, the the strong jawline, a you know ten inch cock, uh, tan, jacked, and juicy, just like uh, Robert Frank. If you don't know who Robert Frank is, you should know who Robert Frank. Is. <laughs> I'm I'm teasing him. Um, but you, you know what I'm saying. He's uh, all you looks maxers. You're right. You're right about the arousal side of that, that whole equation. <laughs> yes. It's gotta be hot. Gotta be symmetrical. Gotta be good looking. Gotta have blue eyes and little big, big eyes and you know, good hair, nice style. Gotta look good. Gotta have, a, 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 gotta have looks. Gotta have, he has to have a look. He has to have a theme. He has to be a guy that inspires visceral lust in women. And Usually, the, the reason why I separate those two is because the because women will happen. You know, women don't need a man. They want a man. Who do they want? They want the guy who inspires visceral lust. That's what they want. They go, well, I want him to show up on time, show up at six, you know, you know, dick me down hard and then leave by nine. That's because that's the arousal side. It's alpha fucks, beta bucks, right? Women have already, at least perceptually, covered the beta buck side of hypergamy they've got what is that provisioning protection and parental investment right they can have a baby on whatever they want you want to know why babies are born out of wedlock they don't the state will take care of that or child support will take care of that and if it won't the perception is that it will then there's provisioning then there is uh protection all that stuff that is, you know, and then there's emotional support and then there's, there's uh, the beta book side. Those attributes are usually what makes a guy attractive. What makes a guy hot are the alpha fuck side. That's why she will have sex in the foam cannon party in Cancun on spring break. She was drunk. He was cute. And one thing led to another because hypergamy cannot afford to miss approximate cause cannot afford to miss sexual opportunities with high value guys and a high value in this sense is the guy who is six foot tall, looks jacked and juicy, 10 inch cock, blah, blah, blah. Right. So the, that's why I make a distinction between arousal and attraction because women will always default because it sounds, because I don't know, sound like a slut. Um, so they don't want to say, well, I, I want a guy with what, uh, 20 inch guns and, and he's got to have a, you know, he, an eight pack, <laughs> uh, you know, he has to look like, um, Andreas Munzer in his prime. Go look up Andreas Munzer, <laughs> bodybuilder, Andreas Munzer. Um, they're not going to tell you that. They're not going to say that. Makes them look bad. Makes them look like they're skanky. Ho Although some women will say, I, mean, I think women are becoming a little more comfortable with saying that. But ask them what they want, that you'll get long-term answers. Ask them what they're hot for. Hmm, well, you might get different answers.